Right, welcome back to a brand new Goal Langer video on the channel. Today it's the match review of Watford versus Derby County. It ended 2 1 to Watford. Bit unlucky, you could say, on Derby's part. But then again, you could say if Watford had finished their chances, we wouldn't be saying that. Let's talk about the game straight away. A five minute spell where Watford dispatched us and we were 2 0 down. Former player fan favourite Will Hughes scoring the second goal in that one. João Pedro opened the score in a bit lucky. A good ball across that was going to trouble us. We are a bit poor at the back in that first half, I would say. And it, it deflects off his leg as he isn't really looking. But it's a goal 1-0 and Watford had been putting the pressure on us and we, we looked a bit exposed at the back. The second goal, poor from Derby defensively. A good clearance by Edmondson, but Patrick Roberts on his first start for us, he didn't have the greatest of games and I can understand why he got substituted off. He just pulls out of a clearance. It's a 50-50 sort of one where he could get hurt, but then maybe he couldn't. But... He just pulled out of it, and that I don't, I don't rate that. You've got to go in on a 50-50 clearance like that, and he pulls out of it, and it costs us a goal. Ball gets pulled back to Will Hughes, who sweeps it into the far corner, and it's 2-0 to Watford in a five-minute spell where you think, oh, we're 2-0 down to one of the best sides in the division with Premier League quality, and it's not looking great, but we came back and, and fought back into the game, I would say. We're going to talk about that corner now. Good corner in. We had played some fantastic corners into the box today, probably the best on set pieces I've seen Derby since I've been following them. Lovely corners sent into the box. Caused Watford a lot of problems. I think it's their substitute goalkeeper seen as the cycling GK is out. But he looked poor, didn't he? With aerial balls in, coming from corners. He looked shaky. But maybe that was just Watford as a whole when, when the corners were coming in. But he, he didn't look quality when, when coming out for collecting them. I know he caught one quite strongly, but he was unchallenged, really. But the corner comes in and... It's a goal. I'm going to say it's a goal. The ref got it wrong today. I don't see really any grounds for saying it's not a goal, even though the ref disallowed it. That sort of play happens every single week. It happens from Sunday League up to the Premier League. A player stands near the goalkeeper in the hopes of maybe getting in the way or just something like that. It happens all day long. And, and the fact for me that Wisdom isn't even that close to the goalkeeper when the corner swung in. He's at least three to four foot stood off the goalkeeper. He's not even looking at the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper comes out, sort of jumps over Wisdom, kind of, and Kazim Richards heads it into the far corner. The ref gives it as a foul. Disallows us a clear goal. It's a way back into the game for us missed, and it's disappointing. Disappointing that we couldn't get that goal just before half-time to, to put us at 2-1. You could saw Kazim Richards talking to the ref at half-time as well, disappointed with that. So about the first half, Watford had a few more chances as well in that first half. I think Chalabar... Just couldn't get on the end of one. Jao Pedro as well. They were flashing crosses across the face of our goal. That looked really dangerous and they continued that into the second half. And I think if Watford had took one of them, put us 3-0 down, that would have killed off the game. Even at 3-1 down, I think that would have killed off the game. But they didn't. In the second half, we managed to get a goal with what? Was it about 15, 20 minutes to go? Nathan Berman, a good ball across the box. The face of goal. And the Watford man can't turn and clear it away. It's always difficult for defenders when a ball comes in like that across the face of goal. You either hope your goalkeeper deals with it or it just cleanly goes straight across the face of goal and out for a throw in on the other side. But he turns it into its goal. It's sloppy defending. And Derby, we get a foothold in the game now and we're back in it. And, and we look dangerous after that. We put a lot of pressure on Watford from the corners. We were lucky with one where it was a good save by the Watford goalkeeper. And then we brought David Marshall up. And, and it was just very unlucky, I think, really. We put in some really good balls. Watford did well to deal with them. And on another day, maybe we come away with a draw out of that game but we haven't today and you know it's deserved that we haven't really come out with something today not enough good performances from individuals out there unfortunately Watford showed their Premier League quality throughout that game even if we did trouble them at times in that game but it was just the players didn't perform well enough for my opinion Martin Wagon didn't have the greatest of games a lot of his crosses went way over the box Patrick Roberts on his first start he, he's more of a luxury player you know, he's not a player that's going to do the hard work, I would say. And we're in a relegation scrap at the minute, so you need players like that. And him starting today, he just struggled. He didn't press enough for me or put in enough challenges. And like we saw, it cost us a goal at the end of the day. So it was understandable. And on another day, we come away with something. But we've gone to one of the best sides, if not the best sides in the league. And, and been very unlucky. We pushed them right to the end. So we put in a decent enough performance in that second half to, to leave me happy coming away with that game. I know we've not come with away with anything, but... Move on to the next game against Huddersfield midweek and that's another big one for us. So, do you know what? Watford deserved the win today, but on another day, maybe we could have got something out of that. Bit, bit of luck goes our way, that refereeing decision, and maybe we get something out of that game. But 
there we go. If you have enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe. Last time I checked, we were like two subscribers off 2K. Watford fans, drop a subscription. You know, I make decent enough videos. Like the video, follow my social medias down below. Comment what did you think about that game down below. Let me know. And I'll see you in the next one.